Alright guys, welcome to another episode. Today me and her are trying various spots on the same ditch. The farmers are officially pumping water, groundwater through their rice fields, making this non-stagnant now. It has current, which attracts fish out of the main river this goes into up here because it attracts shad that feed on plankton and stuff and that in turn attracts bowfin, buffalo, bass, crappie, channel catfish, drum. So we're gonna see what we can get on. Bluegill, red ear. It's got a good variety of species lurking in here. All right guys, first fish of the day, a small red ear. That's pretty cool. Like I said, you never know what you'll catch in here. It's got a little of everything. Except smallmouth and walleye pretty much got everything else. Not a big guy, but it's a start. Uh, <clears throat> dang, didn't even get to show them to you guys, but a little six inch right here. All right, green sunfish, very small. I see why I was having trouble hooking them now. We're talking micro fishing size. Gosh, dang it, every time, it's two fish I've caught and didn't get to show them. Right when I get ready to show the fish, it falls in. Jeez. Got him. Oh, whoa, whoa. Big old bluegill, man. He's been on there for a while. It swallowed the hook. Should have brought a bucket, maybe, you know. It's a nice bluegill, guys. Nice male. Unfortunately, it swallowed the hook. Typical of bluegill. But that is a nice one. I give him that. Yeah, they don't look like any way, and heck, I'm gonna get that back. Nice male channel cat, or bluegill, though. Real nice. Heck yeah. Not bad. I'll take them. There we go. Ah. All right, a little female bluegill. Fish number three, haven't got to show a single one except one. Oh, that's fish number four. I got three bluegill, or two bluegill red ear and a green sunfish, small female bluegill. There we go, real fish. What I've been wanting, yep. Just takes patience. He's a nice two, two, two pounder. I could tell because my pole went like this and it just stayed that way. And you could feel him pulling, he didn't peck at it like a little bluegill. All right guys, finally got what I came for. At least somewhat. And this is on a little Aber gold Aberdeen hook. Perfect eating size channel cat. Oh my. Yeah. Now that's one of the things we came for. 
I'm going to try to get him without a net just by grabbing it. It's not bad. It's a male too, a dark male, I think. No, maybe a female. That or they're spawning real late down here. It's a female. Yeah. Definitely a female. It ain't got the split in its head. About the size of the one you'd buy in the grocery store, guys. Nice little female. Not bad. Not bad at all. <sighs> they never get big in here, about that size. Still a warm mouth though. Hold his tail up a little, you got him diagonal. Straighter, tilt it that way. No, the opposite way, like that. Yeah, there you go. All right, now can you just hold, show me for just about 20 seconds? Right, guys nice little female channel cat she's actually got quite a belly on her for a little two pounder oh. my second big male bluegill of the day so far we have gotten bluegill red ear green sunfish warm mouth and channel cat so four panfish and a channel cat. The only panfish we're really missing out of here is crappie. Not a bad bluegill and he gave me the hook back. Set the hook just perfect, he didn't swallow it. So that's nice. Not a bad male. <sighs> All right, guys, we are going to head to spot number two. It's about one mile down from here. Another gutter just like this. Oh. oh my god. What is that? Oh. Bowfin? Oh. Hold on, that's probably a bowfin. No, channel cat. Need the net or no? Wow, I got a fish. Yeah, alright guys, she got a nice channel. Bigger than the one I caught earlier. Don't get him in that dirt. He'll get dirty. I swallowed a hook. Go ahead and hold it up before you do anything else. Before it gets... <sighs> Way to go. Uh, Swallow the hook. Yep, again. Yeah, go ahead and hold him up for us so we don't get dirty. Just put your glove thumb in its mouth or do that, uh, whatever. It's the same as mine was. It's a nice female, though. Yeah. Heck yeah. Guys, we're continuing to catch them today. I need to cut this. Yeah, you're going to have to just cut it with scissors. The scissors are on the seat. I got big one. <laughs> Maybe a big one. Down. Look at the tail. The tail. Yeah, all right. Oh. All right, guys. First largemouth of the day. That makes six kinds now. Six species. We're missing both in and gar and drum. And that's basically it. Rare chance of a carp, bullhead. Oh yeah, and crappie. There's a possibility of 11, we got six. So we're over halfway. All right, little guy. Bad. Thank 
Thank you, boss. <laughs> I think stand that way because the sun, yeah, way better. It's a big bluegill. That's a big, big bluegill. Man. <laughs> yeah, it is. I finally one that didn't swallow the hook for me. I switched to a bigger hook, like a crappie hook. And I miss more fish, but when I get one, it don't swallow the hook. So the problem solved, it looks like. Not nothing compared to the one she just had. But nonetheless, half decent bluegill. <laughs> 